Hi, my name is John Kaczynski. I'm going to be talking about vegetarian or vegan eating. Vegan and vegetarian eating has become popular in certain circles. And my, my sense is that it's much more difficult to get enough nourishment on a vegan diet. Uh, and part of the reason is because there's less concentration of certain nutrients. Much easier to get nourishment on a vegetarian diet. Um, if someone wants to be vegan, then they have to supplement lots of nutrients or some nutrients that are missing uh, from natural animal foods. If someone wishes to basically uh, be vegetarian and incorporate things like dairy and eggs, it's much easier to get nutrients. Uh, because in vegan eating, you don't get enough concentrated protein, but if someone is eating things like natural cheese from grass-fed animals, uh, some raw milk, uh, some other types of things like yogurt, then it's much easier to get adequate uh, protein because grains and beans, the highest concentration of pro protein in vegan foods, only have 10 to 15% protein, which we need much more protein in our diet than 10 to 15%. It's just very low amount. Uh, now, grains and beans and vegetables have very good complementary proteins. So if you eat that as part of a balanced diet with either natural animal foods or if you want to be vegetarian, dairy products. Uh, if someone has, wants to be vegetarian, those dairy products will give very concentrated uh, proteins. Now, if we don't get enough protein in our diet, um, lots of problems occur. Um, and this is one of the reasons why if a uh, vegetarian diet tends to be a little bit more balanced, quite a bit more balanced than a vegan diet, because with a lack of protein, you can have weak stomach, stomach acid uh, because you produce stomach acid when you eat proteins. You could have weak muscles. Um, you could also have weak muscles in the digestive tract. I've seen that happen with a lot of people on more vegan-oriented macrobiotic diets. Um, you could also have mental and emotional problems because you need proteins to produce brain chemicals. Um, ironic that some friends who are on long-term vegan macrobiotic style diets will start to look into psychological teachings to deal with psychological problems they're having rather than looking at the diet uh, that was missing some nutrients. There are things like vitamin A, which is very, very concentrated in dairy products, which you can't always get vitamin A from vegetable foods. I'll explain that in another segment in this series. Um, also in there is also natural saturated fats, which are really beneficial for the body and natural cholesterol. Um, particularly as a person gets older, they don't produce as much cholesterol. And when their diet is very low in fat and very uh, close to vegan, the, set, the cholesterol can become too low. And this causes a problem um, in the brain. The brain is made out of cholesterol. And it's also a problem with uh, reproductive hormones because they're made out of cholesterol, particularly for men, testosterone. So when, uh, if someone is open to that, I always recommend that they consider uh, a more vegetarian diet versus a vegan diet to get a more nutritional completion. Uh, and if which someone wishes to vegan, get be vegan, then they can work on replacing some of the nutrients that they would get from these vegetarian sources like dairy products and eggs in their diet with some nutritional supplementation. Um, but you can't completely replace everything. For instance, you can't get cholesterol in a pill. Uh, cholesterol is an important substance in food. Um, so that would be a difficult one to, to get. Um, so the difference between the vegan and vegetarian diets, it's a personal choice what, what you want to do, is that the vegan diet, the ve vegetarian diet versus the vegan diet is much easier to get a nutritionally complete uh, way of eating. Thank you.